Hello everybody! So me and Frida were just in Vedlanda and we got us some pallets. These things are always very handy to have. We just went to Yamafix, asked if they had some free ones for us and they did have some ones that we could take home for free. Which is awesome. I'm gonna use them for firewood storage. The firewood is coming here in a little less than a week. So it's nice to have things, these things around so we can stack the firewood on it. After I take all those out of the car, I am gonna work back here. Because you see these planks aren't painted yet. And I want to paint those so that we can hang up the tarp and have a nice place in the shade to sit when the weather becomes warmer. So let's get to work. All right, got some clothing on that I do not care about, so I don't mind splattering some paint on myself. Time to get up this ladder and start painting these planks white. All right, let's do this. Well, that could not have been more perfect because my bucket is empty and this task is done. It's all nice and white. I'm just gonna wait a little bit until it's dry and then we're putting up the tarps. So yeah, perfect. I'm gonna throw this away and then I'm gonna help Frida in the garden a little bit. So here at the front of the garden, we've planted some stuff here. The rocks don't don't look at the rocks. <laughs> Those are just there to keep the tarps down uh, during the night when it's freezing. But we've got a rhododendron, then a... It's, sorry, it's not actually tarps. It's like wind thingy, so it can breathe. Don't worry. Yeah, it's actual stuff that's meant for that purpose. Anyway, then, there, then there's a blueberry bush and two other things that Frida decided to put there. <laughs> Uh, which are that one and that one. I have no yeah. idea what those are. This one is forget-me-nots. Huh. Uh, that one I have no idea. It's <laughs> gonna be a bush 70 by 70 centimeters and it's got big yellow flowers. Yeah. And as you can see we've spray painted a, a green line over here uh, and we're gonna do a second green line and in within that area we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take away all the grass because apparently the person that told us about how to garden <laughs> because we have no idea uh, if you take away all the grass these plants will will you know feel a lot better I mean it's not just that they will feel better but it's also that for us it's gonna be a lot more clear what part is for meant for flowers and what part is meant for grass <laughs> right yes Yes. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna take care of all that grass and then uh, we know what is gonna be a flower bed instead of, you know, grass that we should mow. Or moss. Or moss, yes. <laughs> we have a bit of moss. There, we've got more moss than grass actually. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, as you can see, we, with the spray paint, marked out where the entire flower bed is going to be. So now we have to get rid of all that grass. And then we have a clear location to plant flowers for the future. Because my land is mostly a big, big field of grass. We've been having trouble figuring out where do we do stuff. Where do we start? Yeah, where do we start? How do we even do this? Yeah. So marking out a place to start and taking and getting rid of the grass will help us having a nice starting point. And this is a nice test over here. If this works, we we'll might use it in the big field over there too. 
Oh, you mean, yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. <laughs> what he said. What I said. Yeah. yeah. All right. Time to start getting rid of some grass. I've no idea what I'm doing, but there is a weird little divot in the in my land over there. So we're just putting the grass over there. It may or may not survive, we don't care. At least it's filling that up. And if needed in the future, we'll put some grass seeds over it and have it bloom up again. But that's where we're leaving it for now. The paint is dry to the touch and it's time to put up the sails now. All right, let's do this. Well, there you go. The sails are han hanging and it actually makes it pretty cozy under here. As you can see, this one is nice and tight. This one isn't and that's because one of these, one of these tying down point broke but we're gonna fix that tomorrow i've got some digging to do in front and i'm gonna start that project now hello everybody it is the next day i have already fixed the sails they are nice and hanging and it makes a very cozy location to sit here underneath the sails a little bit in the shade so we are ready for the very warm sun we've got a nice little place to sit I can't wait for the days to be very warm. Take my laptop outside. As you can see, last year I made some electrical outlets over there and just sit here, work outside in the sun. That's gonna be nice. All right, now let's go back to the front yard and I am gonna continue digging the flower bed. Well, there you have it. As you can see, it's the entire flower bed is in the shape of an eye, um, like an eyelid. You can probably tell a little bit better from here. And uh, I've got all the edges done. Now just, I have to do the centerpiece and get rid of the grass in the iris. <laughs> There we go. We've got a very beautiful, nicely defined flower bed. So in the future, when we want to plant more flowers, we know exactly where they're gonna go. There's a nice eye shape. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for these plants to become bigger and to see what Frida is gonna plant in there in the future. But for now, this project is done. So if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want to see more of us and see you all next time. Bye. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to support us or just want something that Li Hao has made, you can buy this little notebook, Look for Stars. The links are in the description, all on Amazon, and you can buy them. See, you can make some beautiful notes in there. The video that just popped up, that one is, according to YouTube, something you will like. So try looking at that one. See you all later. Bye.